talking about standing united as leaders, and this is something that I I, I think is beautiful, and, and I think that is a good example that I think that we should be able to, you know, I would hope to see it happen across the world, and that is um, on the Gold Coast where Dr. Rod uh, currently lives and, and is a pastor there. Uh, I used to live there. And my heart is there. I spend a lot of lot of my adult life on the Gold Coast. And a number of years ago, five years ago, would it be Dr. Rod that Easter United started? Would that be right? This is our Roughly? sixth. Yeah, we we, sixth, were, yeah. we were knocked about by COVID, of course. Mm-hmm. Great. So. Easter United was actually like we're absolutely blessed to have a mayor of the Gold Coast, Tom Tate, who is um, overtly Christian, um, very, very uh, big on his Christian beliefs. He has, you know, a number of of pastors around him that are that he always you know um, involves in the things. One thing he did, he he started up this initiative of Easter United, and which is a big Easter event. Now you probably think, yeah, they have big Easter events everywhere. Yes, but this is actually, it was pretty much funded by the local council and and spearheaded by, by the mayor. But what was beautiful about this is it wasn't one church that put on this event. This was, the point of it was Easter United, a celebration. Obviously, Easter is our Super Bowl, Dr. Rob, you know, as Christians, it really is our Super Bowl weekend. And what's beautiful is all the churches meet at their normal time, Sunday morning, do their normal Sunday service, Resurrection Sunday services and, and stuff like that. And then in the afternoon, they all gather together, thousands of people. Actually, I want to see in the report how many, if they mention how many they're expecting. No, they don't mention how many they're expecting. Can't remember the numbers from from previous years, but I know it's in its thousands that, that they that they get. Dr. Rod, how many? Do you know that number at all? Um, no, look, I can't reel off those numbers off the top of my head. And um, I suppose, in a way, numbers are not that important. No, no, um, but I think for me, but- it's the emphasis of the fact that you know it's the way that they run the event. It's not put on by one church. There's multiple churches from multiple denominations. Um, that contribute to the to the service and it really is this celebration of of easter united of of the of the 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 body of christ coming together in a city um united uh, over what is an amazing and awesome weekend dr rod obviously you're on the gold coast you're involved in everything that's happening there i wanted to talk about this about because this is really the power when you when you when you see leaders actually stand united and be a part of something that is for a greater cause rather than themselves. Dr. Rod, you're part of the organization, all those sorts of things. Like, like what have you got to share about this? I kind of wanted to highlight it, but maybe some lessons we could learn as leaders as well. Sure. And, and, and you mentioned at the, at the outset, how blessed we are on the Gold Coast to have Considerable support from 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 council. Um, although Easter United is not a council initiative, not a mm. mayor's initiative, it is something that's grown up through the churches. And and obviously, look, a, a city mayor really can't inaugurate something something like this. And and look, it's not they're not in in a sense in the right mountain to do that anyway. Yeah. But um, they certainly can um, identify the community value in something like this and and support it. And uh, we have been blessed indeed that council, I understand by a unanimous vote, has um, made some some money available because they get a fair bit of it back in, yep. in fees and so on. But and that that's perfectly perfectly fine. But the, the the main point though is that it is supported by churches from across the denominational spectrum. Yep. So you know, I look, I I think. I, it has never worried me that there are multiple denominations. That's mm. not a concern for me. I agree. And um, I say to people, look, you, you you go and find a local church, the one that's the right fit for you, 
and yep. for your family. And sometimes that'll be one of the churches that belongs to the mainline denominations. Sometimes it might be an evangelical church. Sometimes it might be a Pentecostal church. And even within each of the denominations, every local congregation has its own little flavour and its own uh -huh. little culture. That is a good thing, you mm -hmm. know. We, we don't, there's no such thing as a, a one size fits all. Uh -huh. in, in Christendom, what draws us together, of course, among other things, is the Easter story, the Christmas story, mm -hmm. and the Easter story. They're really central to the Christian faith. Not all that much else matters in terms of whether or not we should unite together. We can have yeah. all kinds of theological discussions, discussions, arguments even, but we are united by our celebration of Easter. Mm. The fact that God in human flesh made the decision to sacrifice himself for the whole of humanity. That's one yeah. of the things we celebrate. And the other thing we celebrate is his bodily resurrection, one of the best attested facts in human history, even though it actually defies science, the science as we understand it. You know, science would say when you die, you die, you don't get up again. Mm -hmm. um, but miracles are really about a suspension of the scientific or the natural norms. And yep. um, there are many, many arguments that support the idea that the resurrection really did take place. So that's central to the shared faith that we have as Christians right across the denominations. But you see, this great. is not about us trying to assert a particular mm. theological position. This is about the churches agreeing that there is something to celebrate that mm -hmm. there is something to celebrate publicly and that there is a message for all of those who want to attend, whether or not they're Christians. And the yeah. message, the, the theme that has been declared over Easter United this year is that there is hope for tomorrow. That's and great. And you see, the, the, the great message of the gospel is a message of hope hope and mm -hmm. encouragement there yep. is hope for humanity mm -hmm. many of the things that we discuss on our podcast might lead people to conclude there's no hope for humanity yes. but there is mm -hmm. the hope is in jesus christ and yeah although we perhaps take much for granted today one of the one of the hopes that was introduced by the early followers of Jesus Christ is that every human life is valuable. Yeah. That's so you good. know what? It doesn't matter what you what your particular worldview is, what worldview you adopt, even what lifestyle you adopt, one of the central elements of Christianity is this idea that every human life matters. And yes, mm we can argue about when does life start, when does it end, and most classical or historical um, Christians would, would say from conception until the last breath is naturally drawn, and, you know, we can argue about that, but it's very difficult to argue against the idea that every human life matters. So yep. I think most human beings are going to agree on that, and, and Jesus has brought so much hope along those lines into into our world mm. and it was that idea that that you know ultimately drove things like the abolition of slavery uh the development of the plimsoll line on 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 ships uh that's an interesting story as well that happened roughly parallel with the abolition of of slavery as well um the 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 way in which Technology has been developed and adopted. A lot of that has has Christian roots. So there's much that we can celebrate. And I think the other good thing about Easter United is it actually gets us out of the buildings because mm, so many good. people associate Christianity and other religions actually with the building, 
the building. And uh-huh. so there's some kind of club that meets inside the building. And, yep. you know, the outsiders are never certain, well, what have I got to do if I want to join this club? Mm-hmm. Or maybe they hear bits and pieces about what goes on in that club and decide, well, I don't want to be part of it. But this is actually showcasing the church when we're outside those yep. the four walls of the building. So and in a very, very, very beautiful part of the world as well. Oh, it is. Yeah. And today is actually the bumping day. The bumping starts yep. and they're building the stage and so on. A beautiful day here at the Gold Coast. There was, I think there was rain forecast at the beginning of the week and we've been praying, Lord, we, we need sunshine, even if it's only sunshine over that part of the Gold Coast. Uh-huh. But it just, has been. Just in this circle. Day <laughs> Yeah, it's a splendid day today, and look, that can happen too. I, I I had a testimony for one of the business guys in my own church, who um he needed fine weather for a certain job, and literally there was rain all around. Wow, where that yep. job was was happening, it didn't I rain on the it. job. I believe and, it. Um, you know, I believe that's it. that's our God, and, yep. and and that's the kind of God we want to share with people through events like yep. Easter Fest. So oh, sorry, East United. Easter Fest, Easter United. <laughs> East, I keep making Easter, that mistake. That's a different one because <laughs> uh, Easter Fest was something else I was involved Does in. Does this still a, a run? Few years ago. No, no, it's not. There, no, uh, there's, there is a no. It's a different type of Easter Fest running up in yeah in Toowoomba. So I've had yeah. the privilege of, of living 16 years in Toowoomba, and then um, I've been here now for uh, what 14 years you know, on the Gold Coast, and I, I've been witness to. So you're wonderful, only 30 years old, unity. Dr. Rod. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. You've right. been 16 sure, into sure, a sure, Yep, sure. great. <laughs> you're really wise um, for 30 years but old. But I've had – it's been such a wonderful privilege to yep. to experience unity of the mm. brothers and sisters in Christ in, in both these wonderful cities uh, here in Queensland and, and um, you know, to see particularly how, how well the church has, has served – Community. When I say church, I'm talking yep. about the churches of the city. Yeah. How well they've served their community mm-hmm. over a long period of time. And uh, in Toowoomba, Easter Fest was was one, if you like, manifestation of that unity here on the Gold Coast. Easter United is a manifestation yep. of that unity, and and much of the heart behind it is we want to bless our communities. We yep. want to we want to do in our community what no other human institution is able to achieve. So we're not saying we're here to replace the good things that governments do, no. we're not here to replace the good things that businesses do. We're actually here to do something that no other institution can do. God created the church for good works of certain kinds, and that's that's what we do. That's really good. And so so I really want to just, you know, moving into Easter, um, you know, it's a big celebration time. Everyone's looking for something to do. You know, like Easter United, I think, is a great example of of leaders standing united and leaders from government and the church and business all standing united as well. I think that it's a it's a good example of that. And so I really wanted to highlight because I'm really proud of, you know, my home city, the Gold Coast. I I, I miss, I do miss the Gold Coast. And you'd say that, that's unusual. You're living on a tropical island. Yeah, I still miss the Gold Coast. Um, but if you're in Brisbane or Gold Coast or any, anywhere surrounding there and looking for something to do on Sunday afternoon, Sunday the 9th of April, it's at the Broadwater Parklands um, just across from Australia Fair there. I used to actually live Overlooking that park, I miss miss my apartment there. Um, it's right on the right on the broad water, and so you got the beautiful grass parklands, and you know overlooking the water there as well. It's absolutely gorgeous there. So check it out. Um, food trucks and entertainment from two p.m. and the Easter actual celebration event starts from five p.m. So check out uh, Juice FM. Uh, they've got the information on the website or actually I'll put all the links below of all the stuff. Yeah, there's Easter a Facebook United page for Easter United com. as well. Yeah, yeah look, there'll United, be lots of information there. Easterunited.com.au, I think mm. it is. Um, I'll put all the links below. Go and check it out. I'll actually post this earlier than what it's meant to so that you guys can get notified of this. I just yeah. 
it, it's a great event and it's a great way to see people united and uh, and it's and it's actually a great event too. If there's some people in your life that you're wanting to invite along to Easter, but kind of uncomfortable about inviting them along to church per se, invite them along to the Parklands. There's a concert in the park. You know, it, it's a great celebration. Um, they'll, they'll have a blast. So that's my encouragement. That's my encouragement. And our prayers go out to everyone involved, making sure that it is an incredible event. Hey, that was an excerpt from our On The Cube Leadership Podcast. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, put a comment below. And if you want to see more content like this, faith-based leadership development content, make sure you check out our channel, give it a subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when we release new content.